This is the UCS-30 spectroscopy system multi-channel analyzer. It includes the UCS-30 universal computer spectrometer with the uh, software and manuals on this disk. It also includes a RSS-8 disk source kit. And we have eight sources here of varying isotopes and a mixed source of unknown isotopes. The detector configuration is the SPA38 scintillation probe. That's 1.5 inches by 1.5 inches right here. And it fits into the shielded base over the stand. Here we place samples of the isotope or radioactive material at given heights here. We can place it wherever we wish. This system is for multi-channel scaling for half-life and decay studies, as well as isotope identification. It's often used for teaching and training purposes, as well as health physics and medical physics applications. The system features computer-controlled amplifier and high voltage for PM tubes, upper and lower level discriminators, on instrument data memory, and of course the comprehensive software package. We connect the UCS30 unit to a PC which would be running the software. The software is a one-step installation. Simply run the installation file and you want to install that before connecting the PC to the UCS30. Now when we connect the detectors um, with the two cables, we want to make sure the power is off and it's unplugged to avoid a dangerous power surge. And you connect the high voltage using the cable with the MHV connectors and the input using the cable with the BNC connector. And then you connect the USB cable um, to the computer and run the software. And we have that going on right now. We will have a look at the software functions. This is a short demonstration of the software that interfaces with the UCS30. And the x-axis is energy and KEV and the y-axis is channels and basic controls. We have go to start counting, stop to stop counting, and erase to erase the spectra from the display and the spectra generated from the isotope will appear here and we'll be able to see the energy peaks. The mode is set at PHA preamp N. That's peak height analysis. That is appropriate for this detector configuration and for our application, which will be isotope identification. Uh, MCS is also available. That's multi-channel scaling that can be used for half-life studies and MOS bar modes are available as well. Our first task at hand is to calibrate and I recommend auto calibration. Um, that's for non-advanced users and I have already placed a 1 microcurie cesium-137 source in the sample holder under the detector. Now we will auto calibrate. Okay, we are skipping ahead because this does take a few minutes and the high voltage was estimated at 850 volts and the coarse gain and fine gain is as follows. Press OK and we will erase from the display. Uh, what we will do now is check out an isotope that is unknown to you and try to figure out what it is using the ISO match feature. First, we will press go, start the counting, and we can see the peaks appearing quite quickly. I would leave it there for about 60 seconds, but you can leave it for shorter period of time for display purposes, pressing stop. Now we will go into ISOMATCH 
and the isotope library is already loaded and that is you can add to that it's editable and we will press display isotopes and we will try barium-133 that does not match the peak so we will try sodium-22 that does match the peak and we have a very nice display we can also set the ROI region of interest for display purposes as an option and we will manually type in these values set and there is the ROI and we will try to acquire a peak report and the gross is 40,793 counts and the net is about 37,000 counts and the net uh, represents the peak whereas the gross includes the background. And you can print this out if we wish and we can save the spectra if we wish as well. We could save that as sodium 22. And that was our quick demonstration for today. Uh, feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Uh, thank you.